Good morning. This is K. Devendra Reddy, Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering, Assistant Professor in Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. Today we are going to discuss about the swimmer test on DC shunt machine. So, for, uh, by conducting the swimmer test on a DC shunt machine, we can calculate efficiency of shunt generator as well as the motor. So, it is a predetermination method, or we can also call it as an indirect method to predetermine the efficiency of a DC shunt generator as well as the motor side. So let us look into the connections of the uh, DC shunt motor. So here from a supply side you are, we are connecting to one voltmeter in a supply side. So positive terminal of the voltmeter is connected to the positive terminal of the supply side and a negative terminal of the supply is connected to the negative terminal of the voltmeter. It represents the supply voltage of DC shunt motor and the three terminals of the uh, three points that are here clearly represented with the letter Y armature as well as the field terminal represented with the Z letter. So this is a box called a three point starter. The three point starter is useful to start the three uh, useful to start the DC shunt motor to limit the starting current into the DC shunt motor armature. So without three point starter, we cannot start the DC shunt motor because the resistance of the armature binding is very 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 minimum. So, if you are applying the direct 220 meter supply voltage to the DC shunt motor, it gives some uh, 50 to 100 times of the rate of current is into the armature, it may get damaged the motor as well. That is why we are uh, strictly used either 3 point starter or with the help of the rear studs also, we can start the DC shunt motor. So, let us look the connection diagram for a DC shunt motor. So, from the 3 point starter, we have a 3 terminals line, armature, as well as the field terminal Z. And from the line terminal of the positive side of the supply is connected to ammeter positive, positive supply of the uh, supply, positive supply is connected to the positive terminal of the supply is connected to the positive terminal of the ammeter, the DC ammeter which is of 0 to 20 ampere gauge and the negative terminal of the ammeter it is connected to the line terminal of the three point starter. L terminal is connected to the negative side of the ammeter and next armature terminal of the shunt motor is connected to armature terminal of the DC shunt motor and field terminal of the three point auto transformer Z is connected to the input side of rheostat and the output side of the rheostat is connected to the, the field winding of the field winding terminal of DC shunt motor along in series with the connection of uh, DC ammeter or MC ammeter which is of 0 to 2 ampere range. So negative side of the rheostat is connected to positive side of the ammeter which is of 0 to 2 ampere and uh, from negative side of the ammeter it is connected to field winding of the DC shunt motor set. Another terminal of the uh, field winding of the shunt motor is double Z and another terminal of the armature is double A, these two are connected and it is connected to the negative supply or negative side of the supply here negative connection. So this is a circuit diagram, we are uh, connected as per the circuit diagram to conduct Simbon test or we can also call it as an indirect method to determine efficiency of a DC shunt motion. That is a predetermination means, so here we are not connected any kind of the load. So indirectly we can precast, uh, sorry, indirectly we can forecast the results by uh, assuming the uh, applied load on the DC shunt motor is uh, 25 percentage or 50 percentage or 75 percentage. At any instant of load, at any fraction of the load, we can forecast the results of DC shunt motor and generator efficiency. So let us start DC shunt motor with the help of three points motor. By slowly moving this handle, so with the help of a three point starter, I mean, start the, started the DC shunt motor. So it is now rotating. The DC shunt motor is now it is rotating with a less than uh, rated speed, 15 and ampere. So with the help of with the help of a field rear step, with the help of a field rear step, we have to increase the speed of the shunt motor into rated speed. So by slowly increasing the resistance to the field winding, 
by slowly increasing the resistance to the TV volume, increase the speed to rated rated speed that is 1500 rpm. Right. Once it reaches the 1500 rpm, low down the radiance, direct field current, line current, or a mode of current of the DC transformer, as well as the supply voltage of DC transformer. So supply voltage we have clearly shown. 240 volts and the field current is 0.15. So field current is 0.3 amperes and it is connected to the 2 ampere range, so it is 0.6 ampere. The field current is 0.6 ampere because uh, this region has a multiplication factor 2 and the line current it is of 1.3 ampere, so it has a zero multiplication. From this data, we need to find out efficiency of a DC transformer motor and generator by forecasting the results. Thank you so much. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.